Battle Stagger, I mean previously on Indie Action. Richard and myself came to the producer's planet of doom in search of more budget for our TV show. We met with resistance, heavy resistance, but we triumphed. And now, the exciting conclusion of Total Nonsense. Hey, you don't think that was, uh... Huh? Yes, probably. Eh, uh, how do we get this thing started anyway? It's the big purple button that says go. <sighs> Alright, it's ominous enough, but give it a go. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, light at the end of that tunnel, I noticed. That's kind of a metaphor for my life. <laughs> hey, since we don't know how long this trip is going to take, we should watch Zach Lepowski's film Crazy Late from the 2005 Crazy Eights Film Fest. Ah! So he's been there too. The uh, the cra cr uh, well, oh, you said crazy life. <laughs> you said crazy mate. Yeah, yeah, that's a place you don't want to go. <laughs> Seen some sights there, man. <laughs> I should just probably roll the wi -Fi. <laughs> I am Zach Lepofsky. I'm a director of Down on Earth, and I uh, make movies and short films and TV shows and anything with lasers and robots and <laughs> That totally makes sense why you're here then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that kind of fantastic. Stuff. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? What's your thing right now? Uh, right now I'm making a TV show uh, that hasn't come out yet, but it'll be coming out very soon about giant robots fighting monsters. and piloted by a bunch of idiot kids. <laughs> We're all about that. We have, we have, we have a little robot yeah. who's a bit of an idiot. It's so. kind of Amblin meets Pacific Rim. Fantastic. So. Back in 2005, yes. you did something else. That's right. I made a short film called Crazy Late, which was part of the Crazy Eight. You can see it was a it was very weird. clever. It was so clever. We sold it on the title You started lot. clever, right? <laughs> that's all they needed to know. Clever. The judges were like, that's the one. We're in. Uh, we're in. So it was very cool because um, the film was all one continuous take. Mm. So we shot uh, 12 different takes, and take 11 is, or take 10, I think, is in is the movie. <laughs> was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was helpful, because you only have eight days in Crazy Eights to make the film. So it cut down on the editing time quite a bit. Yeah, that one. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Add credits. <laughs> Add credits. We're done. So was that done? So did you do all 11 in the same day? Yeah, so we treated it a lot like a play, mm. where we rehearsed for many days all the scenes by themselves. Then we had a dress rehearsal day where we strung it all together. And then we had a full production day where all the final props and final extras and kind of the things that we couldn't afford on all the rehearsals were there for that one day. Mm -hmm. And if we had it by the end of the day, then great. If not, we didn't have a movie. <laughs> so, so given that it's, it's about 11 minutes long or something like yeah. that, and, and resetting and all that stuff, do you have takes where it's like early, obviously earlier in the day as or? Yeah, very much like, so. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> this movie starts well, that, with coffee. That, that made it very difficult um, that we didn't think ahead, but basically we rehearsed during normal hours. Like I said, take 10 was the one we used, and by then, for 11 and 12, the sun had now moved behind us. <laughs> so all our angles that looked were shooting into the sun, so they looked nice, and by the end of the day, the sun was behind us, and all of our shadows we're now in the movie. Right. And so we couldn't change the choreography, so it became very difficult. So to, it wasn't so good. Do you have people yeah. running around with bounces or stuff? Or Everything had to suddenly change, so like, that made it very difficult. But So 11 and 12 just were useless. 10! I like 10! <laughs> I think 10's good. We'll go with yeah, 10. Yeah, the one without the shadows. <laughs> that was easy. That's exciting. So uh, again, back 2005, Crazy 8s. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you had some limitations. Right? You mm -hmm. had one tape. Yep. Uh, were you able to rewind it, or you just had to one yeah. thirty-minute tape? Or? I think it was a sixty-minute DV tape. Sixty. Right. Yeah. So we re we round the ones we knew because uh, if you're halfway through and something terrible goes wrong, you just don't finish because there's no point. Mm -hmm. And luckily, we put all, uh, we planned to put all the difficult stuff at the beginning, so that. You know, if you're about halfway through, you're pretty much good to go to the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I think we're good to get this one. <laughs> yeah, um, and then you have they give at the time they gave you 800 bucks, which basically went to food for everybody. Feed everyone. Yeah, it's always the best thing to do. Yeah, everyone's volunteer. We had almost 100 people volunteering. Oh, so. that's brilliant. It's a lot of pizza. Or? 
Yeah, well, a friend of mine actually, her family made all the f all the food. Oh, their whole family was cooking all day. So. Oh, that's brilliant. So you did that. How'd the film do? What was the reception? I watched um, it. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, the film's done really well. It didn't really go the festival route, but it found a life online. A lot of people have seen it there. And then I used that film to get into a much bigger competition called On the Lot, which was a Spielberg and um, Fo Fox kind of reality show, kind of like American Idol, mm. but for filmmakers. And that was the film that got me on to that oh, thing. Really? And then from there, kind of kick-started all of the rest of the movies and things that I've done. Um, and That's what I was going to ask. Right? Yeah. So this Genesis, this is back, you're like in your early 20s, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the earliest things that you sort of done at that level. Yeah, that was the that first right? time I made a film that kind of people saw. <laughs> that wasn't just me and my friends making movies. <laughs> <laughs> and then one thing to get and, and on and on it went. Yeah. And so now you're directing cool stuff for Disney. Yeah. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's awesome. It's been more like 10 <laughs> years, right? Yep. 11, 11 years, 10 years, yep. Well, that is fantastic. A decade ago, we made this little film. <laughs> exactly, right? That's, Back when the DVX100 could shoot 24p, and we were like, ooh, ooh it looks like a movie. It's so cinematic. <laughs> Unbelievable. One fixed lens. This is great. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we should let everybody see the film. Absolutely. Do you think that's a good idea? Yes, please. Well, that nasty little robot guy that got you up here in one piece, hopefully he gets you back in one piece. I would hope so. Really well, sure. Don't tell we'll, him what I said. But we'll get a clone to take you home. That'd be it's good. It's usually a better idea if yeah. we can get a good one of those. I have nothing against okay. clones. Okay, over there, <laughs> over there is the big screen. And Toasty, roll the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Travis, wake up. Dude, wake up, we're late. Wake up, man, we gotta get ready. Dude, okay. For what? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, holy shit. What's wrong? <laughs> Dude, where's my shirt? Oh. Travis, oh come on, man, we got like five minutes yeah, to get there. Okay, okay. The uh, gymnast. Are... No, I don't do gymnastics. Where are the touches? Oh, crap. We haven't even picked them up yet. Can someone tell me where my pants are, please? Uh, all right, no way. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Come on, let's go. All right. Hey. Let's go, let's hey, go. Hey, hey, no, I, look, I, I don't know. I have to work today. Can I don't know where I am, but can one of you guys maybe give me a ride in a town or something? I look, babe, 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 babe. We're like crazy late for my buddy's wedding, okay? So we're just going to whip off and get him married. We'll be right back. What? Who, babe? What? And if you could uh, clean up, that'd be great. Right. Come on, dude. In a town or something? Oh, my. Oh, I guess you should do. You're in a hurry? Yeah, we're, I'm supposed to get married in like five minutes. But don't you need clothes? Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can get the tuxes, but the flower shop's too far. You gotta get some flowers for corsage. Dude, you'll never make it to the tux shop's week. Shut up. Far. I'll be just fine, all right? Now you go off to the chapel, get some flowers. We're gonna be fine, all right? Okay, here we okay, go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Put that in my tux for me. Yes, go. Okay? Go! Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you. Are you serious? That's my flowers. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're really fat, right? Fucking cheese! Ow! Pervert! Ah. Oh! This is a family Sorry. neighborhood! Sorry. Didn't mean anything! Hey, watch it! Oh, man, did you see that? Oh, no. What are you doing? And I just, uh... The wedding's in like one minute and you're in your underwear? I'll be there, like... You're playing, like... What am I supposed to say to her? Yeah, I saw him in his underwear playing basketball. It's not what it looks like. Unbelievable, Jimmy. Unbelievable. I told her not to. I gotta go!
Flowers. Do you have anything for a corsage? Okay. Take these. Oh, they're perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and you're uh, you're okay with yeah. this? Yeah. I can leave you. I'm, yep. I'm okay. You're okay. okay. Whoa. Okay. Thank you, lady. Good luck, boy. Thanks, so neither. Your wife is the luckiest woman on earth. <laughs> Don't know about that. I appreciate the flowers. Thank you. Oh. I'm not drinking ever. Jimmy! Jeez, buddy! Yes, you get the flowers. That's awesome. Here's your tux. Hold those. You're not gonna believe the craziness I've just been through, man. There was like a, a skip rope. I need this. And, uh, and the, these girls, uh, the lemonade stand, yelling at me, and these uh, rollerbladers and everything. And, uh, and then this uh, this old lady was getting mugged, right? And I ran in there and freaked out and got in this fight with these two thugs. And I was like, boom! That's you know? Good and then, stuff, uh, that's great stuff. Hey, like, we gotta get out of here. Gotta, yeah, that's the thing. I had to. Uh, I had, uh, oh, I had to you it stole it? No, I didn't steal it. I just, I'm gonna give it back to her. The cops aren't exactly what? alone. What? Cops? Shit, they're there. Jesus, what are we gonna do? Oh, damn it, I didn't think it was gonna come to us. Come to what? Okay. Come to what? Okay, you go with me, go with me, go with me. No way, you're my best man, I need you. What are you talking about? You've made it this far, you don't need me for shit. Go! I am not leaving you behind. This is your wedding, man. If you don't go now, all has been for nothing. Go, man. Go. It's the only way. Go, 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 go. Go! Hey, you, stop! Hey, get hey, back here! Hey, come on, touch the rock! Come on, over there, look at him! Oh, oh, man, man, take it easy. Come on, come on. The flowers. What's wrong, mister? Flowers are ruined. Who are they for? My, uh... My wife, I mean, well, she's not my wife yet. We're supposed to get married in like a couple minutes and just everything, everything's gotten wrong and maybe, maybe it's a sign, you know, like, like it's not meant to be or something. Why are you doing it then? Because I love her. Well, she's been waiting for this day her whole life, so she should probably wait five more minutes. You think so, even if the flowers are totally ruined? She doesn't care about the flowers. It's you she's worried about. You're right. Okay, do I look uh, okay out there? Yeah, yeah, you look good. Okay, thank you. Come You're on, a good girl. Go. Thanks. Hey, you Whoa, okay. You thank you, girl. Yeah, you can do it. I believe in you. Run! You can do it! Oh, you can do it! I'm coming, baby! Honestly, Jimmy, Ooh. what kind of behavior is this? It's your wedding day. You can't even set the alarm to get up on time? What were you doing? Playing basketball in your underwear in the middle of the street, and she's waiting here for you. So I glad that you could be a part of this day. Let me just tell you. You look incredible. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I knew you would come. Where's Travis? Oh, he, uh, he didn't make it. Baby, breathe. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's crazy out there. Yeah, you tell me. 
Okay, let's get you two kids married. All right. Do you, Jimmy Smith, take Sarah Jones to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Sarah Jones, take Jimmy Smith to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.